as you can probably tell from my backlog of videos, I really like what they did with Elysian Realm. But I thought about this even before Elysian Realm was a thing, back when Starchasm Nyx before she came out, if anything. I imagined what playable Kevin would be like and then had my hopes completely dashed for the character they'd release as an ice unit. And ever since, I've been kind of pained and praying that they give me any sort of sign that Kevin will be playable. Though it doesn't seem likely because males aren't meant to be playable in Honkai 3rd, but you know what, I'm gonna do the what if anyway. I made notes, as you can hear, tangible paper, of the characters that aren't yet playable within the game from Elysian Realm out of the Flame Chasers and how they could be if they are playable because we do have hints towards some of the things they're capable of. First off, any of them could be psychic or imaginary typing, but some of them have the potential for another type as well, which I'll go into. So first off is Kevin, who obviously his element would be ice. His weapon though is a bit iffy because we have the judgment of Shamash already exists in the game and they'd have to release a new variant of it. The thing is, how would they make sense of a fire weapon being used on an ice character unless there is some sort of burst connected to using the weapon that changes his elemental typing? The thing is, how realistic would that be to accomplish and how functional that would be considering how boss fights currently are within Honkai Impact 3rd. So either there'd need to be a customised version that enables further ice damage and it's just a weapon skill maybe that does the fire attribute, or some sort of like other mechanic that enables the ice to be melted by Shamash and deals bonus damage to make up for the fact you have changed elemental typing. His role would obviously be a damage per second, he would be a main character to use, he would no way in hell be a support, and if he- unless he supports everything by killing everything like Hershey Sentience can, and he has the option to potentially be quantum typing as well, which was the reason why I ended up not making a video about it, because when Starchasm Nyx came out, it threw my idea of how Kevin would be out the bloody window. Things I would be interested in seeing if they did this. I want to see him fully transformed because we haven't actually seen that yet. We have seen him partially transformed in some of the manga and that's it. And we have allusions to his transformation by Raven within Elysian Realm, mentioning when he devoured Chio, when Grey Serpent offered the body to try and um, re-stabilize Kevin's power. And he didn't even fully recover after eating the giant monster. So there's that. Things that would be an issue is this character is likely the most powerful one in the series and they'd have to justify how he's not obscenely broken. Hershel Reason and Starchasm Nyx would each probably fall off as a result because if he's imaginary or quantum typing, they'd have to make a realistic reason for him to be nerfed, which is either a plus or negative depending on how you look at it. And I have no idea for how his stigmatas would function, but I have ideas for their designs because we know how important Dr. Me is to Kevin. They could involve her, they could be key moments of his life, they could include other people beyond just Dr. Me. I, I personally have this like really nice idea of um back to back Dr. Me with our Me because there's no way he hasn't obviously built some sort of understanding of how similar they are. It's just it's not ultimately his main. That's the main issue with it. But there's obviously Sue as well. There's Fu Hua. And then there's events in the present. There's other members of World Serpent that could be utilized for the Stigmata designs. I don't want it to be just some standard <laughs> genius from our world getting a version of themselves within Honkai being his stigmata set, that would be boring as sin. And I'm not saying that they don't make good designs, but come on. The Flames Chasers have so many opportunities for making some really interesting stuff, so don't not use it. At the same time, there's also the option that they could make an elf of Kevin, because an elf of Kevin actually existed within the story, which is kind of funny. <laughs> and I'd actually kind of rate it if they did, just. It might be a little broken for being an elf. Next off on the list is Sue. 
he's most fitting is either psychic or imaginary. He did spend time in the Sea of Quanta like Kevin did, but I, it's not the same, and I don't think it'd be as fitting. For me, he would be a support, no doubt in my mind. Maybe something akin to Starlit Astrologus, where he can deal damage off field. And for that, I kind of imagine him either being physical or ice to support characters that he actually knows. Like for ice, I don't think it's a fitting element, but at the same time, we do see him moving water within one of the manga. But ice purely for the sake, then he would be able to be utilized with Kevin unless he was so good like a like bloody girl, Azir Inferior is where he could support any elemental DPS, but I don't know how good of an idea it is to make another character that on par, because it forces away the idea of rolling on banners for like set element supports, which is probably more beneficial to Mahoyo rather than to us. Like, if they released another broken version of a support character like AE is, then I'm all for it, but I don't think they will. <laughs> Even though I'd like them to. The reason I say physical as well is because technically his abilities don't fall into an elemental category. Because he's a psychic mantis, he directly invades the minds of the people involved. He could technically be any elemental typing and it'd kind of make as much sense as it would him being any other. But if he was physical, then he'd be able to support, for example, Hershey Sentience, another person he knows. just with a child mentality. <laughs> this is if their stigmas are unique, of course. So there's a lot of key moments that his could contain. His involvement with Kevin, like they progressed through history together up until their conflict. I imagine key moments involving them would make the most sense. Like those two as teenagers when they were just friends, they're meeting again for the first time in years when um, Sue got Honkai infection and then their final moment where they were fighting and Kevin ended up sinking into the Sea of Quanta. Those would be the most logical moments to make stigmas for Sue, in my opinion. But I also think the significant moment for him would be actually facing Mobius and turning into the bird because yeah, Mobius had her little freak out that is specified in one of the recollections and he triggered the active Honkai reaction and changed to stop her. Hothwa was in the room for that as well. Unconscious and almost probably... She would have gotten eaten if Sue didn't turn up. That's uh, awful to imagine. Anyway, now for Kalpus. This one is the most iffy of the entire lot because the thing is, the ideas for him would fall perfectly in line with Hersher Flame Sion, who they have just released, who is the most broken character in the entire game. Though he can be any kind of typing in a way, uh, because we see Kalpus's heart with an Elysian realm. So what would have kept him going if he took out his own heart and let Mobius, you know, conduct research on it? He'd need a replacement. So mech isn't actually impossible for him just I'd want an explanation as to why. But psychic and imaginary are the most logical because those are the typings associated with Honkai itself. Biological would also work for any of them, but in this case, it'd be more fitting than it would be for either of the other two. He'd be a DPS, obviously. <laughs> and he'd be fire, obviously, which puts him into contention with Hersher Flame Sion, depending on the typing they'd choose and how he'd function. But unlike Hersher Flame Sion, I imagine him making use of igniting enemies. So he'd be different functionality on bosses because there is some things like, for example, the Hersher of Ice, the Hersher Flame Sion actually isn't the best on for certain mechanics. And that's okay. He just outscale um, Durandal's main battle suit, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Kalpus, I have absolutely no idea what his, um, sig his stigmatis could be. I have no idea. It's like, how would you even conceptualize? There's not much we understand about Kalpus beyond his connection to Elysia, his connections to his subordinate who died a meal, and then he has connections to Mobius, 
for experimentation. <laughs> he seems to get on with Kevin. So stigmatas that are based around his interactions with other members of Moth would make sense. And then finally, there's Eden out of the characters currently in Elysian Realm. Based on what her signet does, when you finally unlock three of them and get the bonus, she uses lightning. So I'm just going to throw out there that I would make a lightning typing because of that. But if there's another typing that you guys think makes more sense, I actually would be curious on what would make the most sense for this girl because she is actually the one we kind of have the least amount of information on when it comes to her battle capabilities. But her type, I imagine either psychic or imaginary. I can't imagine another typing really for her. And she would, in my mind, be a support. And in my mind, actually be tailored to work with Mobius because those two interacted really well in the recollection where Eden dies. And they seem to actually get on considering she gave the Golden Courtyard to Mobius. But for me, I can't imagine her a main DPS but that's because we don't have that much information to go on. This is if their stigmatas are unique, of course. Um, for Eden, I imagine the moment that the Hershrift Flames ruined her career, because that happened. She was in Australia when the fires happened, I'm pretty sure. There's that moment, there could be a Mantis surgery, and there could be the final moments of her life when Mobius saw her walk into the wasteland, those would be significant moments for her that could be stigmatas. So that's just this video. Sorry it's not very organised, but it really is just my thoughts on what would be cool if these characters were playable. We haven't even met all the flame chasers yet, so they could be like anything, couldn't they? But um, ones that I'm curious on whether they count as flame chasers or not are Fushi and Nua, because they are Mantis, they each had significance to Morph. They worked under Mobius. Would they have counted as flame chasers or not? Because I would personally have counted them since they did work on one of the projects in the end and they did continue on to the new world. Just they also don't seem to be made for combat potential like some of the others though at the same time the psychic mantis exists so not all of them are so i'd be intrigued if they count and if they do i have no idea what they'd count as because i wouldn't have thought of mobius as lightning before she came out <laughs> i wouldn't have thought she was a lightning character i wouldn't have thought of any element really working for her. Technically, she's in the similar boat to Sue of where any element kind of makes as much sense as the other. So for these two, if either of them or both of them were playable, they'd either be supports or they'd work like Lilia and um, Rosalia work where they actually have a duo mechanic for swapping in and swapping out and it actually hopefully be good <laughs> instead of how it is for them. <laughs> Uh, that's mean. But to me, if the Mantis aren't powerful, then there's something wrong here. So like, there are other Mantis that obviously are mentioned, like Aponia, for example, as one of them. But we know near nothing about some of these characters, so there's really no point in trying to predict what they'd be like. So I'm just going to use the ones that already exist and have been mentioned within Elysian Realm. Sakura is already playable, so I don't need to make assumptions about that unless they made an alternative battle suit for her. Elysia is now playable, but I'd be very, very, very interested to see if down the road they made an alternative battle suit for her as the 13th Hersha, because obviously the game's nudging us about the fact she betrayed the others and something big happened with her, and that is the most likely thing to have happened. So, there, there's that. And then we've got, of course, Hua, who we've got some very good playable battle suits as. I don't think she needs a new battle suit yet, though I am very happy with the ones we've got. If anything, two of her battle suits are incredibly significant in meta, and one of them is very, I'd say, very recent. Hershra Sentience is very, very good. <laughs> And Azir Inferior is very, very good for a completely different reason. 
there's not really any others that can really be talked about. One thing I'm going to address that I find really annoying is um, Elysia got her own unique stigmata set, but Mobius did not. And I personally feel that's a massive missed opportunity because you know, Mobius does have a lot of intriguing aspects to a story that I would have liked being shown. And that's about all I've got. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys had fun with this. I'm interested to hear your ideas in the comments so let me know or on discord discord works too and until next time i'd appreciate if you liked and subscribed and take care of yourselves